Best Dancer for inspiration and recognition of science and technology, and it's a US-based non-for-profit organization which inspires students to undertake activities in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math. I love to joke that I've been involved in FIRST ever since I was negative four months old because my mom mentored a team then. But in reality, my involvement with FIRST began when I was about nine years old and I started in the FIRST Lego League program. And then a little while after that, I started in the FIRST Robotics competition and I spent two years on a team back in the United States. Then my family and I moved from New Hampshire to Sydney, Australia, where we started Team 3132, the first FIRST Robotics competition team in Australia. Um, I got involved first, with FIRST through Mike Heimlich, who came to my school, Piping Boys High School, um, during the term and asked if anyone wanted to build a robot. Of course, that sounded like a great idea, so I signed up, and why not? Never expected it to be so interesting, challenging. The aspect of teamwork involved in um, the first robotics competition, you actually have to take into account the scale of the project. It's building a robot in six weeks, and without a team, that's almost impossible for it to do. And you have to have various sub-teams, and in those sub-teams, you have to work with the other sub-teams and um, coordinate a uh, group effort to actually build the robot and ship it by six weeks. Let's build a robot. Sammy actually had to wake up at 4 a.m. to get to to get all the way across Sydney. Took the train all the way up, took three buses across, pick up six ball bearings. Uh, the only six in New South Wales. Um, yeah, that was pretty hard. It was like four hours to back. I was always optimistic about the robot. I didn't have any doubts that we'd be able to do it, but yeah, there's always. Uh, thought in your mind that mm, maybe something's gonna go wrong. I was not sure how we were gonna do it. I knew we would do it somehow. It's one of those things like a school assignment, you know you're gonna finish it, you don't know how, you don't know when, but you just know you are going to. It was probably about 10 o'clock at night and the robot wasn't done. And I had my doubts because I wasn't feeling so good and I wasn't thinking straight. And I remember just, it was right here on this very table. We were working on it and just not being certain we were going to finish and when we walked away that night around midnight and the robot was done, it was an amazing feeling. When it first moved, everyone's eyes lit up and it was like, we'll be at this in two weeks, it works, yay. Very different, starting to drive on the wrong side of the road, but it was very cold, it was snow, the competition. It, was, it had a really, really um, good, at, good atmosphere. Uh, there were um, hundreds of people uh, all in their team uh, shirts and costume. Uh, I think it was just a really great event. We had the whole stadium doing the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie chant. There was one time where uh, everything broke, in, and, and our next game was. In 10 minutes, <laughs> uh, I think the uh, tracks for the wheels fell off, both wheels, um, the bolts came loose, uh, the kicker's machine key shattered. Um, yeah, just basically everything broke. And we actually did manage to get it all fixed within 10 minutes and we were on the field for the next one. The awards were amazing. I remember the first award ceremony, which was on the first day of our three-day competition, um, just sitting there. We didn't expect to win anything, and uh, it was the second to last award, I believe, was the Volunteer of the Year Award, and our two of our mentors won that, which was pretty special. We got the Wookiee All-Star Award, which is for the best uh, new team. Got the Safety Award, which was um, our safety program, headed by Cheryl. Atlanta was like GSR, except ten times big, more than ten times bigger. There are about 500 first robotics competition teams, about 100 first Lego League teams, or some junior first Lego League team or two, and there are probably 100 first tech challenge teams as well. Atlanta had 
several hundred teams, four fields playing at the same time, thousands and thousands of people. I love uh, the first program and it pr pretty much um, gives me something to do outside of school. It's definitely been a learning experience going in there with no um, prior knowledge but it's, overall it's been quite satisfying um, building a robot and then what, seeing it work and going to the States to compete. I never expected first of all for it to be so challenging and rewarding. I wouldn't really have much things to do, I'd be bored at home. Before first I had well an idea in my mind of actually just going to uni doing something computing related but first has really brought, broadened my horizons and now I'm thinking of probably doing engin an en engineering or some sort of, instead of uh, just computing. I think it's changed more than just my life. I can bring you know that enthusiasm and hopefully encourage more people to get into science and technology uh, for the future, which is good. First has absolutely changed my life. I went into the program thinking I was going to become a STEM professional, so go into either science, technology, engineering, or math. But I really come out of the program with a much broader perspective on the world. I'm now much more interested in going into a role in public policy and statesmanship. I think that I can make a lot of change in those roles and I can help train the next generation of STEM professionals. I do a lot more volunteering now. Previously I maybe sometimes helped out with my dad's rotary club. Now, in, during the season, I do four or five hours a week. Building a robot is more than just building it. There's also sort of community aspects which you have to do. First Lego League is like our first robotics competition, except instead of building robots with steel and aluminium and electronics, you build out a Lego. The chance for young kids um, to get into Lego, um, to start learning about the basics of engineering and programming, um, I think it's a really good chance for them to learn the skills of engineering and other skills that they can really take into their future. I want to continue promoting the first LEGO League program, which we see as one way to get more kids into first robotics competition and then into engineering at university and ultimately into those engineering roles. It's very interesting. In the first robotics competition, we have our own mentors, which teaches and guide us. Being flipping that experience so that I am teaching the younger children is it just puts th things into real perspective. Seeing noticing all the things that mentors would have done to me and then passing those on to give the same experience to the children is great. This story doesn't end here. In fact, this is just the beginning. And believe it or not, the story isn't about us. It's about you. Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. How do you think this story should end?